My name is Alethea. My story is true. I am a solitary creature by nature. I have no children, no siblings, no parents. I did once have a husband. If there is fate, who can say? But in the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul, I chose a memento. I like it. Whatever it is, I'm sure it has an interesting story. So, what would you wish for? What is your heart's desire? I do have a question. What does one do with three wishes? You'll see. This film highlights the importance of telling stories, an art you developed early on with your twin brother, huh. uh, always trying to one-up each other. Yeah. What's the secret of a great story? Oh, I'm still trying to find <laughs> out. Here's the th interesting thing about my twin brother. If either of us were to be stand-up comedians, he would be the one, because in the moment of performance, he could make it, it, it interesting. For me, uh, it's ultra slow motion. I mean, I make movies and they take a long time. I mean, this movie is 100 minutes long, and yet it's taken many, many years of thinking and writing and shooting and editing and finally presenting it. You only knew you wanted to cast uh, Idris and uh, Tilda when you met them in the flesh. Yes. As a person, not as an actor on screen. Yes. How did that help you decide they were right for the roles? You know, I've, I've, I've spoken to a number of directors, and, and particularly writer directors, who, and they've all said a similar thing. They've said, you know it the instant they walk into the room. There's something about after the f first few utterances of the actor, you somehow feel whatever you vaguely have in the back of your mind about the character, whatever, however you imagine them, they seem to marry. It's, it's, it's similar to people say, well, how do you, you know, why do you fall in love with someone in, 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 in instantly? Somehow there's a, uh, the Venn diagrams of the character and the person overlap in some way. And you only know until the end of the movie when it, all the pieces of time are all strung together in the, in the final movie that you actually know if it's there. But when you, when, when you do, uh, uh, so, so much of it's intuitive. And the moment I met those two, you know, I, I, I just could not think of anyone else who could play the roles. What, what did they add to the roles? A lot. I mean, both in the practical sense but both in the, both in the, again, they're actors who, what I call filmmaking actors, they're there to get the film make, made. I mean, they're great collabor collaborators. Uh, uh, Tilda, uh, you know, it's no surprise to me uh, why she, she, when she works with a director, that director wants to work with her over and over and over again. There's a club of directors who've worked with Tilda more than, more than once. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've, I'm just an initiate into that club. I've got to work with her once. But because she's somebody who brings so much to the work, beyond just I'll perform, I'll do, I'll, I'll do the performance, she's thinking of, you know, she's thinking of it very, very broadly in a very easy, relaxed, almost a very elegant way that she's able to do it. And, to, and interest is the same. Uh, he's made films, he's directed films and so on. So he's always thinking about how to do something better. There's no story about wishing that is not a cautionary tale. We all have desires, even if they remain hidden from us. But it is your story and I cannot wait to see where it goes. Oh, how it might end. <laughs> Hello. Hello. He'll be staying for a while. The Jin and Alethea, they have this great laid-back chemistry. Is that something you can work on as actors? I think it was just 
incredibly easy for me and Idris to work together from the very beginning. And so that's the bedrock, that ease and that feeling of uh, wanting to surprise each other and wanting to prize, surprise ourselves. That was, that was what we, we built on from the, from the very first. It wasn't easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy for me. I was very um, aware of the greatness in the room. Um, I was very aware of being invited into that, you know. Um, of course, you know, I'm so at ease with Tilda and George, but to find that ease on t in, in film language was like, oh man, I hope, you know what I mean? I had to, I was so excited to work, to work with Tilda. I was so excited that I had to contain that excitement. And that was, that was difficult. That was something that, you know, what was great is that I found there was a real openness to the procedure. It's like, it just tell us, tell mm -hmm. us stories. Mm -hmm. And we told each other stories and, but for me, it was like, wow, you know? And this film is very much about telling stories. Mm. You, as actors, have played in many of them. What's the secret of a great story? I think not knowing what's going to come and just yeah. enticing... Because a story needs a listener. And anything that that makes it possible to really listen, not just to hear, but to listen, to, to be completely open to whatever is going to happen next. Mm. The small details that you think don't matter, mm. but then matter. Mm. I, went to the, mm. I went to the shop this morning, it was 5 a.m., I remember the sun was up, mm -hmm. and then I walked into the door mm -hmm. and I saw this beautiful shadow across the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, these small details that you say, well, that's nothing to do with the story, but it's the details, you know, that bring the audience in. I'm beginning to wish we'd never met. Don't say that! Make a wish! Save yourself! I have a wish. The director, George Miller, just told me that he works from uh, intellect to intuition. Mm -hmm. That sounds a bit like acting, isn't it? What was so beautiful about working on this film with him, never having worked on any other, is he was very clear from the beginning that this was an absolute hard project for him. He's been longing to make this film for pretty much 3,000 years. And, <laughs> um, and, he, and it really lived in him always, this, this longing. He didn't know how he was going to do it. It had this mysterious inarticulacy around it which I think is really valuable. I mean, it's, I say that because inarticulacy is something that completely makes me tick. I absolutely, uh, you know, that's my church. Mm.